What's good YouTube back again with another video and for you we have a jersey review Patrick Ewing authentic jersey the New York Knicks a phenomenal jersey now I did a pickup jersey review on these two in particular I think I got these two years ago or a year and a half ago I think I got these for 40% off some time ago I wanted to give its own review right and we're at that moment now where i could give it its own review first off special shout out to not only the knicks knicks are playing phenomenal right now i think we're third in the east are we gonna go anywhere probably not right but this is a team that's very easy to root for and to me that's more important than anything else my favorite knick team is the 1999 knicks that went to the finals bunch of underdogs Sprewell, houston larry johnson Marcus Canby, Patrick Ewing was injured. I mean, you name it, right? We had the backs against the wall, eighth seed, beat the number one seed, beat the next team, and we went to the finals. And of course, you ran into the juggernaut of, at the time, Tim Duncan and David Robinson. That's my favorite team. The 94 team was really good. The 92 team that gave Mike and the Bulls a run for its money brought them to a game seven which was incredible, right? So these teams, man, are some of my favorite Nick teams right now, I have to say this is one of my favorite Nick teams of all time. Brunson is one of my favorite Nick players of all time already. He's just that special to me. He's by far exceeded any expectations that I had of him personally. And I think pretty much anybody else, to be honest, right? You may have thought you were getting a 20 and seven guy and you're getting instead of 27 and 26 points per game super big in the playoffs he's played big moments he's made big shots he's a great game manager he is the guy that pff, i'm all sold bro i'm all in on brunson in fact if i can get a brunson authentic jersey they have one now in the msg shop but it's the white one and i know it's customized so it throws me off a little bit but i'm hoping nike and fanatics come out with a brunson jersey or at least get a custom from Fanatics because they do a better job than MSG. MSG does a terrible job at making jerseys. So that's that, right? Now, I'm going to show you my favorite Nick jersey of all time. This is the road blue with the black stripes on the side, double stitched, double layered. This is representing the 98-99 season. This is, in fact, the season we went to the finals in, right? This is also the lockout season. Unfortunately, Patrick Ewing didn't finish the season because he got injured, I believe, in the playoffs. I remember him dunking on Alonzo Mourning, and that was phenomenal. And, of course, we beat the first seed, Miami, with the Allen Houston shot. Again, phenomenal. But I believe he got injured sometime during the playoffs, and then at that point, it was what it was. Uh, but this is my favorite Nick jersey of all time. Patrick Ewing, one of my favorite players of all time. Absolutely top three as far as, for me, uh, probably first on my list. Maybe my favorite Nick of all time. I don't think he gets enough credit. And the reason why I say that, the best player he ever played with in his prime is who? You tell me, right? You want to say Allen Houston? He started playing with Allen Houston at... I think the later end of his prime. You want to say his actual prime, his best player he played with, Charles Oakley, John Starks. Great players in their own right, but they were never superstars. They were never stars or a person or a player that can really change the game on its own. So to me, he never played with the super duper star. He had great coaching. They had great team energy, but he never played with somebody as good as him. So with that being said, this to me is one of the greatest jerseys ever in Nick history. Now we do have the black and orange. Now you're seeing the Knicks in a lot of black and orange jerseys. And I think a lot of the influence is because of this jersey because we get the black striping on the side, the black trim. So kind of cool to see they go back in history a little bit. And then you had this New York, this iconic New York double stitched, right? Very well done. That white and orange stitching. 33 double stitch as well. 
1998-99, Patrick Ewing, authentic, very clean. Ewing on the back. Thirty-three, dope jersey, man. One of my favorites. In fact, my wife and I went to the Spike Lee exhibit in Brooklyn, New York, Brooklyn Museum, and he has a section dedicated solely to the Knicks. He has game worn, right? Game worn jerseys of Knicks: Walt Clyde Frazier, uh, Willis Reed, Bill Bradley, Patrick Ewing, Charles Oakley, Anthony Mason, John Starks. For a Jersey fan, sports fan, it's a must-see. If you guys are in the Brooklyn area, New York area, please go to the Spike Lee exhibit. If you're a New York Knicks fan, please go to this exhibit. And he has a whole completely different section. So the section he has, it's like primarily sports. So Muhammad Ali, signed autograph gloves, signed Michael Jordan, sneakers and jerseys, apparel, bird, magic. I'm telling you. Kareem's goggles, right? It's a must see, in my opinion. Definitely, if you're in the New York area or have some time to visit, go check out the Spike Lee exhibit. So my wife took this super cool picture. I will put it up. For you guys, but it's me in this Ewing jersey. And you see all the Knicks jerseys in this section that Spike had. So I definitely want to show you how that is. This is a size 52, right? So this is going to be equivalent to a 2XL. I will put it on for you guys so you guys can see really quickly how it looks. So this is the jersey. Looks phenomenal. Uh, matches the hat pretty good, actually, too. Right? So just, you know, dope jersey, man. Ewing, one of the greatest of all time. One of the greatest senses ever. Definitely one of the greatest Knicks of all time. And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing a review on this one. And then I'm going to start digging into the crates a little bit more. I told you I was going to be doing a lot more videos. So I will be doing a lot more jersey stuff, a lot more sneaker stuff. You may see some random just on feet stuff. There's a lot of people interested in on feet sneaker reviews. So for example, right, you're not going to get a on feet of these. <laughs> like period so i will throw up some random on feats you guys don't have to click every video but i do appreciate the support if you do those videos are really just for the algorithm so i will put something up like this i may put something up like a jordan 22 just to have some sort of updated on feet of some of these silhouettes some of my rarer sneakers some sneakers that you know just happen to be really nice or performance shoes so uh, i plan on being Definitely more invested in the YouTube world and take it from there, right? So we'll see what happens. Again, I'm not going to be doing this YouTube thing forever, right? It's just something that I enjoy doing for the moment. As long as I have enough time to dedicate to YouTube, I'll absolutely put the effort in. Life happens and sometimes YouTube has to take a backseat. It is something that I'm still interested in and I want to flood you guys with as much videos as possible. And on that note, I hope you guys have a good one. Be out. Peace.